Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher, and this video is about cross stitch. Today is Friday, February 20th, 2020, and again, this is video number 23. Thanks for joining me, thanks for returning, and hello to all the new subscribers. I have a lot to tell you guys, a lot to share. We have new releases, which I'm gonna put at the end. I'm gonna try and show as many as I got. I don't think I got all of them, but I got a lot. And for those I missed, I'll try and get next week. I've got finishes that came in from the finisher. They are beautiful. And I had a lot of progress on stitching this week, so I can't wait to show you. Today I'm here with my shepherds. I've got Monkey. He is Kiki. Monkey, there he is. <laughs> and then Deuce is laying down next to him. The arm of the chair is in the way, so I don't think you can see him, but Deuce is down here too. So next week, I'm going to try and get the kitties to join us. Uh, usually when the shepherds are upstairs with me, I have the kitties in their in their bedroom. When my husband's home, the shepherds, I'll have them go downstairs maybe next week and then bring the kitties in and they run around like crazy. It's like a racetrack up here. <laughs> anyway, so let's get started on stuff because this I I have so much to tell you. I had some questions. Rita asked the measurements for Jane Bannister. I showed Jane Bannister last week. Um, this is her, she's beautiful. A beautiful chart by hands across the sea. Look at those tigers. So she asked me the measurements of this and it is 309 stitches wide, 319 stitches high. And then what I like about hands across the sea on the back of their charts, they give you the thread, the uh, fabric. So if you're going to do 28 count or you're going to do, say, 40, um, 36 count, 46 count, 40 count, whatever, it'll tell you what size the design is uh, going to come out to be with a three inch border. I really like that. So I just wanted to answer her question. 309 stitches wide, 319 stitches high on Jane Bannister. She's a beauty, beautiful chart. Next question, Carrie asked if I would do any videos for fabric dyeing. I've had that question before and I'm not yet comfortable with, only because I'm still experimenting myself. Sometimes, lately they've been coming out really pretty. I'm gonna show you Baby It's Cold Outside and I dyed that fabric. I think it came out beautiful, I love it. It's perfect for that. Um, but. I think Carrie, once I'm more comfortable with it, maybe I will do a fabric dyeing, but there is a great, there are great ones out there. I went and forgot to write down whose they were. Um, one of them that I really like is mason jar dyeing, where you wet your fabric really, really good, thoroughly, wring it out, put it in a mason jar. I wish I had the a jar to show you, but anyway, a mason jar, and then you mix up your color along with very, very hot water. It has to be hot. I have seen people mention that if the water's not hot enough, it will ruin your fabric and turn it red. Like, it's so strange. Why red? But um, a good example, and I can't think of her first name, but she is on, I'm going to, I'll insert a picture here of her name. She did a great mason jar example of fabric dyeing, and her, it's, I mean, um, her floss tube is something with fluff. I'll write it down, and I'll put a picture, but it's great. That's a way to do fabric dyeing through the mason jars. Um, you can even wring out, she'll show you. You can even wring out the color. Say you wanna do blue and you wring it out. You look at it when it's done, make sure you rinse it out and then wring it back up and you can even add another color. So now you've got maybe, you've seen some fabrics that are really pretty brown and blues. You could even do that. So I've done that. I've done, Priscilla and Chelsea also have some great um, examples of fabric dyeing. I've done it their way, I've done it my own way. So everybody's got different ways of dyeing, which they all come out beautiful. Sometimes they don't, mine, there's been a few times that I've tried it, I did not like how it came out. I always start light, because it's easier to darken as you go if you want the fabric a little darker. So my problem was that I was doing it way too dark, and then once it's that dark, unless you've got the RIT dye color remover, it will help lighten it. I didn't have that at the time and I just hated the way the fabric came out because I just went way too dark too fast. So you could just experiment, do coffee tea dyeing in a pot. You can do um, 
the Priscilla and Chelsea way where they scrunch up their fabric to get good modeling and they lay it in a glass. Um, I watched it just the other day. Um, they released another one involving writ dye. They have one for coffee and tea dye. Then they have another video for writ dyeing and coffee tea. And they put theirs in a glass. It's about this tall. They wad up their fabric. It is wet and pour the hot liquid color over it and then scrunch it up with the color in it. I do mine a little different. I like to do mine in a pot and add the writ dye as I go. Um, it is, has to be a pot that you don't use. You know, you're not gonna eat out of it. Um, so there's all kinds of different ways to dye fabric. Another way that I saw a video on I really wanna try because it gives a great marbling effect is shaving cream. I have not tried that, but I, I'll give it a try and when I do, I'll make sure and show you guys. Uh, HJ asked, oh, this was the, this was the comment of all times. She was wa catching up on my videos. She was been wa binge watching some of my older videos. She got to the one where I was getting on the cruise ship just a few weeks ago when I was in Miami Beach. I did a floss tube from there. And so she's watching this video and she's like, oh, wow, you know, my, my parents are going on a cruise. And then she kept watching more and more. She saw the cruise line She because I had pictures of it. She saw my destinations. She saw the dates that I was there. She saw, oh my God, my parents are on the same cruise. How coincidental is that? That is so awesome. I wish I could have run into them. And it makes me wonder how many times did I pass them, you know, at the scone bar? How many times did I pass them in the, in the dining room? And it's really fun. So I was really glad to hear that her parents were on the same cruise that I was. But how funny you're watching Floss Tube and this person, me, is talking about it and the destinations I went and her mom and dad were on the same thing. Crazy times. Um, and Andrea asked if I was going to be hanging any of my finished pieces right here on the back wall. I definitely want to. I have a quilt that I finished that I showed you guys a few videos back. I wouldn't mind hanging that temporarily because I would like to um, put some finished cross stitches up there. In fact, I've got a finished cross stitch. I brought it out to show you, and I'll tell you why in a few minutes. Um, but eventually, yes, I do want to get some framed and put up there as well. As you can see, mini tree is now St. Patrick's tree. He's not done yet because I don't have the actual decorations hanging out. And I'm so bummed. I don't have any cross stitch um, St. Patrick's decorations. I'm going to have to start... I've been doing a lot of Christmas decorations and I've done Halloween, but I've not done St. Patrick's. So it's a little bare right now. I need to go to Hobby Lobby maybe and get some more decorations, but it's pretty. And uh, as you can see, I've got all my St. Patty stuff out. I tried to find some green charts. This prairie schooler is farm life, I think it is. One of them is farm life and um, it's got a lot of green. I've got some green fabric stacked up here, a quilt my mom made and just all my St. Patrick's gear out. So it's pretty. I love holiday stuff and I love my mini tree. And let's see. Okay, what else should I show you? Let's see, I got everything covered there. Let's do the giveaway winners. We had, first of all, I have to find them. I think it's over here. Just one second. We had three giveaways. And I'm so happy we have winners. Random Google selector is picking good ones. And um, sometimes I use random Google. Sometimes I'll actually have all your names typed out with with your which number that you want. Or I'll have like I'll have giveaway number one with your names under it and your number. And then I'll tell my husband pick a number between one and thirty seven. And he'll just he doesn't know your names. He just picks a number. But this time it was random Googler Googler. <laughs> Random Google, who chose. So we have got, this is a used chart. I have no marks on it. I used it myself. And I originally got it off Stash and Load. It is Fa La La by Country Cottage Needleworks. I showed this finish in my last video and I'd like to pass on the chart to someone else. So the winner of Fa La La is Lynn Hamps, H-A-M-P-S. Lynn's favorite fabric, the question that they had to answer what their favorite fabric was, Lynn's favorite fabric was 40 count. So congratulations, Lynn. My uh, email address is stacer5, it's S-T-A-C-E-R number five at AOL.com. Send me your address, I'll mail you your chart. Number two, this is a cute one. I'm gonna actually take it out. Heartstring Samplery Festive Little Fobs Valentine Edition. Aren't these beautiful? Perfect for mini tree, 
perfect for decorations or like it says fobs or little mini pillows. It's by Heartstring Samplery. The winner of this one is Anna Jan. Anna spelled A-N-A -N -A, and Jan is J-A-E-N. Congratulations, Anna. You won the Festival of Fobs by Heartstring Samplery. Send me an email with your address. And then number three, we've got the March edition 2020 of the Cross Stitcher magazine. It has the insert in it. That's a cute, I, I mentioned this before, that's a cute little chart. It's really pretty. It does have the insert, which was a bird. It comes with the a little kit, the floss and the fabric. You will get that. And the winner of the Cross Stitcher magazine goes to Killy Loves Amos. And it's spelled K-I-L-L-Y Loves A-M-I-S. Congratulations, you won the magazine. Send me an email and I will get it out to you as soon as I hear from you. Okay, we have more giveaways. I'm gonna do those in a little bit. And for now, I'm gonna show you my finishes. They're just awesome. I'm so excited to show you guys. They came back from the finisher this week. I have Feel Mouse Hollow, which is by Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread. Isn't this finish pretty? Oh, I'm so happy with it. This was stitched on 32 count blue Lugana. If you know what, if it's not Lugana, it's Monaco. I think it's Monaco. I got it off of Hershner's. They've every now and then, I should have checked to see if they still have Monaco in. But I love that. Look at the back. Isn't that perfect? Love this finish. I put it on Instagram for you guys to show or for you guys to see. I'm so happy with this. And the lacing, I just, I love it. This was the one that I ran out of this floss by weeks, I believe it was. And thankfully, Jen from Jen Stitchy Niche was able to get the same exact dye lot and color and everything. So that's my finish. I'm so happy with it. That back is awesome. What perfect, perfect fabric. So my next finish, this is awesome. So I originally was gonna have a strawberry made, but the finisher found the most adorable cauldron, cauldron? And this is by Erica Michaels. It is Scary Berry. Look at that. Look at this cauldron with his little feet, little legs. I don't know where she found the cauldron. I'm gonna ask her, but she mounted it on there. This is on Haunted by Picture This Plus. And here's the back. Oh my gosh, I am so, so happy with this. Um, it was on Haunted by Picture This Plus. It is 28 count fabric. I almost wanna stitch this again. The silk version, if you go to Erica Michaels and look at the silk version, it has a haunted house on it. Same, very similar but the haunted house is really cool. So I might get the silk version, stitch it normal on my, you know, regular fabric and do it the way I just did it, but use the chart for the silk version. I'm so happy with this cauldron. I love it. I'm going to put it back just so you can see the legs and everything on it. I love it. Thank you so much, Kathy. I, I don't know if she watches, but I can't tell you enough how happy I am with this. I'm gonna give you her information. I've got one more finish to show too. Her information is Finishes by Kathy. She has a Facebook group, same thing, Finishes by Kathy. Send her an email, she'll be more than happy to help you. She's located in Arizona part of the year, the other part is in Oregon. I'll show it one more time. I'll have it in the notes too at the bottom so that way you guys, if you need to get a hold of her, she is great. Okay, and the last, but no, I have two more finishes to show you. This is Hello Fall by Plum Street Sampler. And I am so happy with this. This is a stand. So it's, you know, it's like a, a book stand with the tassels. Here's the back. I am so, so happy with this. It's beautiful. So I can finally display something for fall. Anyway, Plum Street Samplers, Samplery and um, Hello Fall. I did make the pumpkins and the flowers bright because I wanted, I used B5200, I changed that. I wanted bright, a bright, bright pumpkin. 
So I'm real happy with this finish. And the last finish is cool. So I did it, my very first punch needle. I took a class at Galleria, Heart Creek Farm Creations, and um, I took the class. She handed me uh, this, she had, I got to choose between the peppermint candy and something else. I can't remember what the other choice was. But anyway, Kathy made this into, I had saved, remember I told you guys in previous videos to save your bath and body candle tops. So this is a candle top from the very, uh, from Bath and Body. It does not say Bath and Body on it. It's just a plain, beautiful top. I saved it and Kathy made it fit. How perfect is this? So again, this is Punch Needle. I am so, so happy with this finish. I just can't believe it. Oh my God, I can't wait to hang it on the tree. Anyway, save these guys because they make a beautiful, beautiful back. So that's what I wanted to show you as far as finishes. I have more, but I'll show more next week. Okay, let me show you my whips real quick. We're doing pretty good on time. So I showed you guys this chart last week. I do have a page one finish, finally. I did start adding the orange. You can see the orange border. This is the only bit of color other than the middle of the heart. So as you can see, I added the orange. How cool is this looking? I added a little bit more at the very bottom where the heart, uh, the tree, I worked on that tree. So this is page one finish, but there's also part of page two and below it page four, I believe. So I'm happy with it. I think the orange is really gonna start popping out and I love how the animals are popping out and the little guy walking. Oops, you can see the little guy right here with his stick. Really cool, I'm happy with this. It's a lot of fun to do. It was really intimidating though. I wasn't sure if I wanted to start it. When I looked at that, the fabric came from um, Copenhagen. It's Permin, I think. No, it's, um, hold on. I thought it was Permin of, um, anyway, that's the name of the chart. But it was intimidating. And boy, was this, um, it is 26 count. I don't know what kind of fabric it is, but it was so stiff. And I had mentioned before, it was like working on medical gauze, thick medical gauze, but now it's loosened up a lot since I've worked with it and it's better, it's a lot better. Ooh, wait till you guys see this. So as you all know about the sow going on, baby, it's cold outside. I have a start, I started on February 14th with everybody else and I dyed the fabric the day before. I'm really happy with how this is coming out. I made a few changes um, just on the green I wanted a brighter green around the border. I'm using 561 DMC. And I am using, I did not want a bright, um, usually I use B5200 white. I decided to use Bamboo by Classic Color Works. I think it's called Bamboo. And I'm also using Hickory Sticks because I wanted Baby It's Cold Outside to show darker. So I'm real happy with that. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, I, I'm real happy with the colors that I chose and I'm really happy with this with the fabric, the way it came out. I love the modeling on it. It's not too much, it's just beautiful. Now this is one that I dyed in a pot. I put it in the pot, I put some coffee in it and then I added a tiny bit of writ dye and I believe it was dark brown, but I just, I went slow. I only added a couple drops. I still wanted it darker. I added a few more drops, added a little bit more coffee and it finally got to be a little bit darker. I did put it in the oven, not for very long. Um, one side of the fabric, you can actually see more modeling. Let me see if it's the back. No, I don't know where it is. Um, I thought I could see more modeling from the um, oven. But uh, anyway, so yeah, this was put in the oven. I mean, you can see, you can see some marks, especially down there right here. You can see where the oven made a little bit of marks, but I don't leave it in too long. So, um, but I mean, you can, you can leave it in if you want it really modeled. I'm real happy with it. And I scrunched up my stuff in the pot and so it did give more modeling effect as well in the pot. 
Okay, so I had mentioned in my last video that I was going to save a project to start for Stitch Mania. However, I talked to my friend Jean and I told her I'm blaming you for this. She says at Stitch Mania I should do smaller projects, like maybe ornaments or, you know, just some smaller stuff that I could get done if I plan on doing every day of the month a new start if I, if I do Stitch Mania. So I thought originally I was gonna save Ann Thomas 1854 for Stitch Mania as one of my starts. Well, Jean, it's your fault because I decided to start it now. <laughs> I didn't save it for Stitch Mania after all. This chart is something else. It's just fantastic. So I started in the top left and here's my progress. It is on 32 count ale by picture this plus and I think it's going to be really really pretty I already love it I've worked on it a couple of days now I'm waiting for some floss to come in one two three stitch has been out of the um swa de alger um the colors that I need so I looked online looked online couldn't find it and then I finally found it with through um in Alameda California up north Needle in a Haystack had a lot of colors. So if you're looking for the silks for um, the Swa Dalger, they had a great selection. They got back to me right away. Hopefully it's gonna be on its way. I also found something. Oh, I was also wanting to get some fabric, the Vintage Exemplar. I had problems finding that. I think that's Lakeside Linen maybe. I found that at Black Cat Stitchery in Illinois. They were awesome. They shipped immediately. She sent me an email, says, hey, I'm out of town, but I will get in tomorrow and I'll ship it. And um, Black Cat got back. Like I said, they've already shipped it. It's This fabric is on the way. I wanted to show you the, the flosses that I'm using so far. Now, this is not all the flosses. This is just what I've been using so far for Ann Thomas. Look at these colors. My strings always look so messy, but these colors are just fantastic. Anyway, that's going to be really beautiful. And that's it for whips for this week. Now I did pull out a whip I'm working on and a finish I did last year. And I have a special reason because I wanted to mention a new floss tuber. He has four videos already and he's great. You ought to see his finishes and his whips. Check out Kenny. He's, uh, his floss tube is Kenny Stitches. He is the nicest guy. I got to talk to him yesterday on Messenger and um, he is just the nicest person. I hope to meet him someday. We've talked about maybe getting together for a um, blue, what is it? Blue, bluegrass stitchers retreat and some stitch alongs that they do um, or some stitch get togethers they do on the weekends. My husband and I love road trips. So I told Kenny, I'll come out, don't worry. And he goes, where are you coming from? And I said, Southern California. <laughs> so for me to just jump in the car and go, that's me. That's me and my husband. We love road trips and we don't care how far it is, we'll go. So I'm hoping to plan a weekend or get out to that area. He's in Indiana and the bluegrass retreat was in Kentucky, which is a few hours away for him as well. So we're hoping to plan some kind of little thing where I can come out meet. I'd love to meet Jennifer in person. She's the bluegrass stitching in the bluegrass. I mentioned her last week, Spunky Jen on Instagram. And I'm hoping that someday I can get out there and meet these guys and stitch with them because they're just fabulous people. So for Kenny, I pulled out my mirrors and Kenny stitches, not just Mirabilia's, his, you want to see, I'm trying to think which one it was that he showed his finished Mirabilia's, that if it was his first video or his last one. I still have to catch up on two. He has two A and two B. I need to watch those. I'll probably do that later today. But you guys have to check out his videos, uh, Kenny stitches. They, his, his finishes are just fantastic. And he doesn't just do mirrors. He does all kinds of stuff. Anyway, so for Kenny, if you're watching today, I decided to pull my two mirrors out. This is, I mentioned, I mentioned in a group, I think that I'm doing Miss Cherry Blossoms. So this is her, my progress on her. I don't have beads on yet. I do have Krennic, the Krennic is in her hair. So you can see up close the Krennic, beautiful pink. Um, this 
fabric, I decided to do it on, I believe it's 16 count Ada. And it is pink for some reason. It, it, there, This is a better color on this side where the um, paper isn't behind it. But isn't she beautiful? Look at her kimono. That is just gorgeous. So I'm going to continue. I got her out. She's going to be worked on this week. And then I wanted to show my Luna finish from last year. She's another beauty. I need to get her framed because she's sitting in a drawer right now. This was my last finish, uh, my last mirror finish, Mirabilia by Nora Corbett. And she is Luna. Look at the beautiful krennic on those pumpkin um, leaves. It is just a fantastic piece. There's a bleep krennic or beads in the hair. And you can see the bead drop. Hold on one second, right here. Lots of beads here. But she's a beauty. She deserves to be framed. And uh, I'm going to get on that soon so I can get her up hanging on the wall too. So because I was talking to Kenny and I wanted to tell you guys about his floss tube, I had to show my mirrors. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed seeing them. Okay, how about some haul? I have got a stack of haul like you wouldn't believe. And the mailman just brought in some more stuff. So um, let's see. I showed you the new start. Oh, before I forget, let me pull this out again. The baby, it's cold outside. A lot of people didn't know this. I just found out a couple days ago, but if you go to Instagram for Beth Twist, Heartstring Samplery, she added a card, a little cardinal that you can add to your chart. And again, this is all in memory of Leanne. So I haven't done the trees yet. You can put the cardinal anywhere you want, but there's gonna be some trees here. And the way she put it in, uh, I don't, I wish I had the chart, but when you get the trees in, you can put the little red cardinal right in here. My friend Gina is actually going to put him, I think she put him in a tree, like sit on top of the tree, or she was going to put him on this. Somebody was going to put a cardinal on this side. And I believe my friend Gina put him in a tree. It looks really good. So anyway, um, if you go to Beth Twist on Instagram, she might be on Facebook too. I don't know, but the chart is there for the little red cardinal that you can add if you'd like. I want to make sure I told you guys about that. Okay, so let's do some haul. I've got some good stuff. I got by the Scarlet House Morning Walk. Isn't that adorable? Look at that is me. The reason I got this is because that little girl is me. With the crow, you know, I'm I'm obsessed with crows. I feed them every morning. I give them unsalted peanuts every morning. They will literally sit on my back fence waiting for me to come out with my peanuts. So there's the crow and then there's the dogs. Isn't that adorable morning walk by the Scarlet House? That's going to be a start pretty soon. I love crows. I love this. Love this chart. Okay, the next one I got is a giveaway for you guys, but I'm not going to do it this week. I'll probably do it next week because I've already got giveaways set up for today. This is Hip Hop by Chockful Series. It is um, by Hands On Design. It comes with those two charts. Isn't that cute? But I am going to probably do it as a giveaway next week so that way you guys can get started on it for Easter. Really, really cute, cute. I love it. Next, I got my very first modern folk embroidery. It's called Forget Me Not, a Quaker alphabet sampler. Oh gosh, I love doing black. It makes me happy. So I have not kitted this up yet and I will be starting that. I love the letters. I believe this might be the same one that Kindred Stitcher, Lisa Smith's doing. And she did these alphabet letters in like a krennic gold it's a sparkly uh, gold oh my gosh it's beautiful and she did it in blue so if this isn't the same chart it's it's oh, it's just about it looks just like it it's fantastic i love this i got a project bag there is a girl i wrote her name down her name is ashley bremer b-r-e-m-e-r -E -E stash unloading cross stitch only and I love collecting stamps. When I was a kid, I still hold on to stamps from international um, mail that I receive. 
and I still save the stamps. I used to have a stamp book. I have it somewhere and I must have stamps, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of stamps international. Well, I love the Japan stamps and this for some reason reminded me of it. So when she posted this bag, I had to have it because it reminds me of the stamp, the postage stamps, especially up here and this one right here. It reminded me so much. I love the gold and the fabric. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. It is a vinyl front bag. She included some floss tags. And again, her name is Ashley Bremer. Check her out. She's got fast shipping. I'm really happy I got to meet her. Another bag that she did is, she is in uh, Michigan, Bridgeport, Michigan. This is my other bag I got. Isn't this beautiful? Look at the colors. And if you really look at the bag close enough, you'll see Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is all over. I've never seen this fabric before. I'm so happy with it. I think her bags are, I don't remember the size, but it's your general bag. It's a little tiny, maybe one inch smaller in height. Then, you know, like it's not 13 by 11. I think it's like 13 by 12. 10 maybe anyway just awesome totally awesome and i love the mickey mouses on it i got one more bag that i love she's a floss tuber her name's victoria um i'll show her card create it what is it? i can't think of her name Find me on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook at Victoria's Crafty Room. And she does have an Etsy shop. And her name is Victoria. This is her card. And this is the bag. Oh my God, this bag. Oh, I fell in love with this bag. I just love project bags so much. It's a vinyl front and it's tall. It's more tall than it is wide, which I, it's different. But these are just the cutest things I've ever seen. Oh my God, I love these so much. Ugh, you know how I am with dogs. If I ever find German Shepherd fabric, I'm gonna buy it and see if someone will make it for me. Gina, will you make it for me? <laughs> my friend Gina makes really cute bags too. I showed hers last week. Oh, I have it here. This is the one Gina made me. I've already uh, got a project in it. I love bags. And this is big enough for my punch, one of my punch needle hoops. So I love this size. I'm actually looking for a bag. I have another hoop that is, I want to say if it's, it's 14 or 17, it's a big hoop. And I'm looking for a bag because right now my punch needle is out and I hate that because I don't want dust getting on it and stuff. If I want to say it's a 17 inch hoop, so it's big. And I'm going to have to try and find somebody to make me a bag like that. Because that hoop does not fit in any of my bags. So I've been looking for cording. And if you guys know of some places that have good cording that can go like around a pillow. Or like a hanger for a pillow for a Christmas ornament. Um, you know, like a, I'm talking about like a, the cording. Like this is a great example on this. I'm looking for this. I did not see it at a pretty any real pretty colors at Hobby Lobby when I was there. Um, I know some people have put cordian around their pillows. So I ordered some from 123 Stitch and I'm not real happy with it because I didn't know it was so shiny. So I got these two colors. I'm sure I can find something to make with them. Maybe like the tag, you know, the, the ornament holder. But they're shiny. I'm not crazy. I was hoping it was more of a, you know, like a Duller, not so shiny color. Okay, let's show some more. Show some more haul. We've got Rovaris. I bought this one. It is Happy New Year. I bought this because I love the red cardinals and I love the red barn. Isn't that beautiful? I would use B fifty two hundred because I want that bright, bright snow. And that's Rovaris. Really cute chart. Okay, so a couple videos back, I mentioned I was looking for an email for Teresa Baird. I got the email, got a hold of her. She wrote me back, and I ordered two charts from her. This is 
and her name is Heart Ease Exemplar Works. And it's, this chart is called Bell Snickles Christmas Journey. Look at that chart. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love this chart so much. I love the trees. Now she has specialty stitches and I really hesitate doing them. I just, I don't think, but look at how, if you do the specialty stitches, look at how the, the trees really pop out. She did include um, directions on not having to do specialty stitches. So you don't have to do them. You can do cross stitch. And this is her name and her name, real, her, her name is Teresa Baird, but that's the name of the chart. This is her company. That's one of them I got. And this one I have to, I mean, this is just so fantastic. I don't even know how to tell you guys. It's Antrim's Folly. It's a hard to get chart, unless you go through her, obviously. But this chart is pricey. It's not cheap. And it's just the most beautiful thing I think I've ever seen. Look at that. I'm going to take it out of the thing because it's so hard to see with the... Anyway, it's called Antrim's Folly, a Burlington Country Inspiration. And she included in, uh, like classroom instructions on doing it. There are a lot, a lot of specialty stitches. Again, she said that you can just do regular cross stitch. But the colors in this are just fantastic. It's just a beautiful chart. She actually teaches classes on stitching it. So she included a huge packet of instructions. And there's the information here. So everything's in there. If I wanted to give it a try on some of these specialty stitches, I'm going to try a few. And again, if you don't like them, then you just do, you, she said you could just do regular cross stitch. But this is gorgeous. I love this cow. I love the color of her bright dress. It's just beautiful. Anyway, so that's the one I, this is the one I had been looking for when I saw it on a floss, I don't remember who saw it on, oh, Kindred Stitcher showed it and I said, I have to have that chart. It's, it's too fabulous. Okay, I'm gonna save the rest. I'll show one more chart. This is Whispered by the Wind, the Explorer Tomb. And it's fantastic. I uh, Whispered by the Wind, there we go. Look at these. Look at those crows, they're so fantastic on that cemetery stone and love it, love, love. I love the fabric, look at that. You could use alchemy or ha uh, haunted might be a little dark, but alchemy would be perfect. I wonder what fabric it says. It's, oh, it's stitched on Mirage by Picture This Plus. I love this, so that's the name of it. Whispered by the Wind, I got it on Etsy, I believe love okay it's time for new no you know what before we get to new releases let me do the giveaways for this coming week we have number one for all you ada fans out there we had a lot of people answered the question that they love ada i love ada too especially colored ada and um so giveaway number one is for all the ada fans out there it's by color and cotton 18 count mink isn't that beautiful? It is 13 by 17, so it's not a huge piece, but it is uh, 18 count hand dyed Ada mink color. Giveaway number one, I forgot to ask a question. Um, your question for this giveaway will be, give me a couple, I, this may have been a question in the past and that's okay, but give me a couple designers that are your favorites that you just, you could probably stitch everything of theirs if you had the choice. So just give me a name of a designer that you really, really love. I think that was a question maybe five or six videos back, but that's okay. Answer it again. Designer or cross-stitch shop, some of your favorite cross-stitch things. That's it. Giveaway number one, 18 count. Giveaway number two is by Little House Needleworks. It is a previously used chart. I did look at the chart. There is not one mark on it. It's perfect condition. Spring ABCs. This was donated by a viewer. And this is the chart. Spring ABCs. Giveaway number two, if you're interested in this one. 
I'll put it a little closer so you can look at it. Oh, look at that little quilt. That's cute. Spring ABCs by Little House Needleworks. This is giveaway number two. And then giveaway number three was also sent in by a viewer. It is called Midnight Garden, and it's a kit. It is so cute. It comes with, here's, let me show the picture first. It's like a, like a bell pull. It does come with that fabric. It comes with some floss, I see. Yep, and it's all marked. I'll show you. It comes with the little charms. This is a great kit. It is uh, on Ada. I'm, I'm positive it's Ada. I just don't see where, let me open it up real quick and I can tell you what kind of fabric it is. So that way you know if you might be interested or not. Let me give you a look at it again. I believe it looks like a 28 count. Anyway, if you're interested in giving it a try, that's what it looks like. It does include the whole kit, and this is the design on it, Midnight Garden. It just doesn't include these black things. Everything else is included, the floss, all um, divided up, so you don't even have to divide it up. It's got the name of the colors on it, and it's got uh, the charms with it too. So this is giveaway number three. Again, not Ada, it's definitely a linen. So answer the question, what designer you could stitch forever on? Or what cross-stitch store could you just go to and just, if you could go anywhere like, um, what's the one in Virginia I'm dying to, dying to stitch? Is that what it's called? I wanna go to Sassy Jack's and there's a lot of good cross-stitch stores out there. So any if money was no option, which designer would you pick or what store would you go to to just buy a bunch of stuff? Giveaway number one. This is definitely Ada, I promise. 18 count, mink. Number two, giveaway. And the kit, number three. It just does not include the black stuff. It has everything else. All right, let's go. I'm gonna put this kit back together real quick so I don't miss anything in this kit. Thank you to the viewer that sent this kit. It's really, really cute and it's it looks like it's gonna be a fun stitch. That's the giveaways. You are going to put the giveaway answer in comments. And um, obviously you have to be 18. Please don't say the word giveaway in comments. And that's it. Let's go to new releases. We have a lot. <laughs> okay, new releases. The very first one I wanted to mention is called Just Stitching Along. She has released three new charts that are beautiful. She will be at market and let your local uh, needlework shop know if you're interested in any of these charts that I'm going to show, let them know because they can get it from market, get it ordered for you, and that way you can start stitching on them. So new releases, we've got Just Stitching Along, Miss Mary Barker, 1830. And also... By Just Stitching Along, we've got Mary Dickinson, 1842. These are beautiful charts. Love these. From Just Stitching Along, I got a hold of Sassy Jacks. I don't know if you guys saw Fiber Talk with Gary. He interviewed Krista, the designer, of Miss Lucy Calcutt. I ordered her. She's beautiful. Check her out. Sassy Jacks has them in stock. Anyway, I watched Fiber Talks. And I had seen the chart before, but I, they said Sassy Jacks had them in stock. And I um, believe maybe Kitten, Kitten Stitcher did too. There, you can get them anywhere. But I decided to go through Sassy Jacks because I had been watching Fiber Talk. And I watched the interview. So I wanted to support their shop. And I got Lucy Calgut. I can't wait till she comes in. I'll show you guys. I'm all excited. And the last one by Just Stitching Along. A new release for mar newly released for uh, market. The first weekend of March is E. Dalton, 1847. These are beautiful. I can't wait to get them. Okay, the next one we've got is by Silver Creek Samplers. This is hysterical. Izzy Decayan. <laughs> get it? Izzy Decayan? <laughs> 
This skeleton's awesome. Silver Creek Samplers also has another one and it is called Winter Full Friends. Okay, we have got one, two, three by Hands On Design. We have well-rounded perennial pinwheels. I think I'm missing a couple. I think Kathy released a few more and I, I didn't get them. We also have Stitch in the Garden. And we have My Stitcher's Heart. Ooh, Linen and Threads, I missed them. I didn't write down what theirs were. I'll get them next time. Rosewood Manor. We have Tumbling Rose. It's pretty, really pretty. Twin Peak Primitives. We have Trick or Treat and Old Archery Close. Cute. I love Trick or Treat especially. Next, this one I will be getting no matter what. It is by Leela's Studio, A Quaker Welcome. This is just gorgeous. I love this. And also by Leela's Studio, we have Anna Oman, and that's spelled O H M A N 1837. We also have Coffee Obsessed. <laughs> and we also have Janet Robertson. Next up, we have Annie B's The Haynes Sampler. Pretty. And after that, we have Madame Chantilly Celebrate Fourth of July. It's pretty too. And next, we have a shit ton <laughs> from Teresa Kogut. And I'm not kidding you, my wallet is going to scream because hers are so beautiful too. Along with everybody else, Teresa Kogut did an awesome job. This is Newcastle Bouquet. Look at these reds. Isn't that gorgeous? We also have Heaven and Nature Creative Whims. It's pretty. I love the house. After that, Teresa Kogut, we have another one I'm going to have to get. Pet all the dogs. <laughs> Look at the dogs. Love it. And that house, pretty. Then by Teresa Kogut, we have Faith, Hope, Peace, Love. Pretty. After that, we have Magic of Christmas. Awesome. And after that, we have uh, Strutton. Just Strutton. <laughs> Santa and the reindeer, so cute. After that, we have Santa Nose. If you hear heavy breathing, it's my shepherds. <laughs> and then Teresa Gogut has a book. It is 15 charts in this book. It's fantastic. The book is called Celebrate. Teresa Kogut, Creative Whims. Okay, let's move on to Heart and Hand. We've got the Bluebird Sampler. After that, we have Praiseworthy Stitches, Gingerbread Cottage. So cute, look at that. Love that. Next uh, designer is gonna be Needle Bling Designs. It is Americana Drum. And after that, we have Spring Chicken. Okay, we got another one that just released a whole bunch of charts and they are fabulous. Never lets us down. Brenda Gervais with With Thy Needle and Thread. We've got Coffee First. <laughs> then we've got Berry Keeper. These are pretty. After that, we have Spring Serenade. These rabbits and birds that are so, so cute. Here's another one I'll be getting. It is Harrietta and Company. Isn't that cute? Next by Brenda Gervais uh, with the needle and thread is um, 
I collect the tomato. It's so cute. After that, we have our hearts. That's really pretty. And we also have Baltimore salt box. Still by Brenda Gervais, we have salt box quilt sampler. It's pretty. And still going on by Brenda Gervais, we have token of love. Look at those blues. Aren't those beautiful? So pretty. My wallet is just screaming right now. I can hear it. <laughs> Next, we have souvenir souvenirs of the heart series. This is star, star spangled spectacular. And the last one I have is Manor at Quaker Hill. Pretty awesome. These are just awesome, awesome charts. And the last, nope, I've got a few more. This one is by Victorian Rose Needle Arts. It is called, the first one is called Ma, Mahalath, M-A-H-A-L-A-T-H, Mahalath. Freeman. Beautiful. And after that, we have Hannah Sprogs. That is pretty. And three more. Lindy Stitches. She's got some really cute stuff. How about Strut and Tom? <laughs> Look at Tom. I like him. We also have Oh Happy World by Lindy Stitches. And last but not least, this is very cool because she has two different colorways on this. It is called Mary Mary Needle Worker. She has daytime and nighttime. I'm going to show both. How cool is that? And the last one we have is so cool. Poutini, Poutini. That's spelled P-U-T-I-N-I. -I. Poutini, Poutini. We have winter. We have autumn, we have summer, and we have spring. Aren't these fantastic? Love them. So any chart you see, make sure and let your um, needle workshops know you're interested, you want those charts. Like I said, they're going to market, they're going to get these charts for us, and they're going to be all available for us real soon. So it's going to be, it's just such an exciting time right now for cross stitch. Now this will be last but not least. I could not close out this video without showing the new releases from the Scarlet House. It is, they are so, I have to fix the camera. They're so beautiful. I can't even believe it. So the first one I'm going to show is the Scarlet House did a collaboration with Beth Twist from Heartstring Samplery. This beauty is called the Berry Bowl Sampler. And the next one, the, the rest of these are from the Scarlet House. This is called Jane Cowie 1850. And next we've got Charlotte Frost 1846. After that, they put out I See Red. How beautiful are these charts? Scarlet House has become one of my favorites, I tell you. I just love them. Okay, the next one, Mary Kemp, 1862. And after that, we have Be Merry and Bright. Three more by Scarlet House is the next one, Bringing Home the Tree. So pretty. After that, we have Sweet, sweet Tomato. <laughs> Can't even talk. Too much talking. And last but not least, we have, oh, this is just awesome. It's a remind, it reminds me of A Perfect World. It sure looks like a sister chart. It is called Seeking Refuge. It's beautiful. I love all these new releases. These are just fantastic. I love it. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I'm going to put in the notes below the finisher that you I did my finishing. 
Her name's Kathy. She's on Facebook Finishing, Finishing, Finishing by Kathy. I'll put her information. I'll put um, some more information down below for you guys. I will see you guys next week. Happy stitching, everybody. And like I said, stay healthy. Everybody's sick right now. <laughs> and I'll have more haul to show. I think that's it. So thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.